Well, welcome to episode three of Lessons Learned. My name is Vincent Vesa. I am an author and the founder of Hidden Treasure Novels. And I'm here today to share just a few lessons learned over life with you. The first of which is one that I learned from my art teacher in high school, Ms. Rose Cambrio, who taught us to prepare our canvas. Before you take out that brush and apply a color, any, any oil to a, a canvas, prepare it first. Use that gesso, prepare that canvas so that uh, the, the canvas will accept the colors you're about to apply. And that lesson applies to life, uh, not just to painting. Prepare your canvas in life. It leads us to a second lesson, and that is to paint your story. It's unique to you. And I say that and kind of metaphorically, right? We're, we're painting a story, we're writing a story of we're writers, but it's your story in life to write. And I, I'm reminded by Steve Jobs. I had the privilege of working for Steve Jobs for a number of years at Apple Computer. Um, and he shared with us a quote that I still remember to this day, I want to put a ding in the universe. Well, that's, that stuck with me and it stuck with a lot of my colleagues. And we'd like to think we made a difference. Um, if you look around today's world at the iPad, and the iPhone, and the transition and the utilization of the internet here, and especially in these days of COVID restrictions, uh, we've, we've made a difference. We painted a story. And uh, it's your turn, right? Uh, ladies and gentlemen out there in the audience, and young people who are listening to this call in high school, trying to think about what you need to do, what's your next step. It brings us to a third lesson. <clears throat> And that's when I learned in the School of Hard Knocks, and that is use the full palette. You have so many, many talents. Um, we live in a, in a world that's constantly changing. You know, on the upper left-hand side of the screen, you'll you'll see the you know, motto of our of our enterprise of hidden treasure novels, and that motto is that change happens, and and you can be a part of that change. Uh, if you do nothing, change is going to happen to you. So you might as well have some fun. Take the, the full palette of resources available to you for your life, your talent and bring them to that change and make that change a positive one. I'd like to encourage you to engage your tribe. I have the privilege of right now being the regional representative for the North Carolina Writers Network, the Metro North chapter just outside of uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. And you know, any given day on planet Earth, there are billions of people on this planet, but on any given day, we're going to work with 10, 15, 20 people. And I'm privileged to work with this tribe, this tribe of authors, writers, poets, um, who get together, we normally get together once a month and uh, at a coffee shop. We can't do that right now. Here in, in July of 2020, we're all meeting virtually like this meeting right now. We're meeting on Zoom. We're some other technology platform. But we all encourage each other to do our best, to make others see what we see, to see the world not so much for what it is, but for what it can be. I love this quote by Degas, that art is not what you see, but what you make others see. If you look around and, and you see misery and strife, um, look past that look to the positive things look to the many blessings that our lord has given us um make make others see what you see look behind the pale right that's why you write uh, that's why you write your poem that's why you write your short story your novella your novel um i encourage all of you who are out there who are writers uh to join the join the the challenge um, share your lesson, your lessons learned. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Reach out to us at hiddentreasurenovels.com. There's a connect button when you go to that website. Please do reach out and, and uh, share your stories. Uh, you have one time here to, you know, to be on this planet. Come in and share your story. We'd love to hear from you. So I thank you for being here today. I look forward to seeing you and uh, have a blessed day and, and a blessed week. Thank you.